The planning system is vital in ensuring the safety of the most vulnerable population, yet it has failed frequently to do this on many occasions. On the 14th of June 2017, the UK woke to hear the news of the devastation of a tower block fire, the Grenfell Tower tragedy, which took 72 lives, with the youngest being six-month-year-old Lena Belkady. The fire started just before 1am in the kitchen of a flat on the fourth floor of the 23-storey tower block. The fire was reported immediately after the sound of the fire alarm at 12.54am. Four fire engines arrived at 12.59am and the first fire crew entered the building at 7 minutes past 1 and entered the kitchen at 14 minutes past 1. However, within minutes of the initial 999 call, the fire had already spread to the external cladding and within two hours, the fire had already engulfed the majority of the upper floors of the tower block. The devastation of the fire was intensified by Grenfell's stay put policy, meaning that the fire should have been contained in any single flat. This hindered the safe evacuation of many residents. 144 residents were able to safely evacuate by ignoring this policy just before 20 to 2. But only 36 residents could safely evacuate once this policy was finally abandoned just before 10 to 3 a.m. This meant many residents were trapped by thick poisonous smoke spreading up the single narrow stairwell. By half past four, the entirety of the building was engulfed in flames. So why did the Grenville fire spread so quickly and intensely? It was reported that there were several factors which contributed to this, but the primary factor was the external cladding which was fitted in the refurbishment in May 2016 by Ryden Construction. The cladding was constructed from aluminium sheets bonded to a central plastic polyethylene core, which is immensely combustible, which melts, drips and flows during combustion, as well as releasing intense amounts of energy. However, the negligence of the government and the planning system can be described as placing the final nail in the coffin when it comes to the Grenfell fire disaster. Dating back to as early as 2004 and five, residents reported fear and lack of safety for their lives. And again, back in 2012, when they reported this after the risk assessment carried out, as well as a missed opportunity to learn from the devastation caused by a Lacknell house fire back in the 90s, as Gavin Brown's review and announcement of Part B building regulations never materialised back in 2016. And still today, 300 tower block buildings in England have similar cladding, so will history repeat itself or will there be finally justice within the planning system after years of neglect for those most vulnerable and specifically for social housing? so we can avoid another preventable disaster, as Mayor of London Sadiq Khan describes Grenfell Fire.